Uh, just woke up, saw there's a new video for the 1.0 release for Sons of the Forest. Uh, I started watching and then I immediately stopped it. It's like eight minutes long, eight minutes, 41 seconds. Uh, let's go through it together. Cool stuff. Little new Tintin, all grown up. Sons of the Forest will soon be leaving Steam Early Access, and as its 1.0 release rapidly approaches, we got one of the developers from N9 Games to go over 13 amazing updates, sharing detail. The little scissor clip thing that the leg guy does is, is interesting. Um, in the last video, Blair saw something and saw those and was excited about it, so tells on a bunch of new content that's inbound to everyone's favorite mutant and cannibal infested island. What is this place? We're bringing in Sean Ashmore as the voice of Timmy, which is really cool. He's done some stuff for other video games and we like him a lot. So yeah, we reached out to Sean Ashmore. We showed him some footage and gave him a brief. You know, he was on board. He thought it was pretty cool. His voice is Timmy. It sounds really good. It just fits. What is that? We're doing a lot more cutscenes now for Timmy. And a lot of that stuff is going to be towards the end of the game where it's just going to be way more epic than it, than it was on early access release. There's going to be a lot of new things to see. So we've been releasing over the patches these artifact pieces that people can find, but you still, you couldn't find out what it was going to do. And now with the final, you're going to be able to discover that last piece of the artifact and find out what it does. It has multiple functions. We can't tell you what it is. We're not going to spoil it, but it's really cool. I think people are going to have a lot of fun when they, when they get that last artifact piece and discover what it does. Let's talk about this real fast, this artifact piece. So in the forest, when you would get the little staff that you could throw down on the ground and it would either repel or attract, uh, a horde, a purge, a de base defense mechanism, well, it didn't even really have to be that because it could be put down anywhere. You didn't have to put it at your base. Um. Does anybody really? I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that they don't copy. If it does that, cool. I hope it doesn't do just that. Did they say who this was that was speaking? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to who that person was that's speaking right now in the video, but if that's a dev, I hope that that was just not a smart usage of the word multiple. Like if I use the word multiple, it means more than two most of the time, most of the time, unless I am trying to sneakily say two and make it sound more than what it is. So um, hopefully that's not the, the case here. Some more found footage. Put a lot of work into developing the story more. The villain, Jian Yu, in the game, he's going to be voice acted. So we're going to add, you know, more dimension to that character. Little Mew Tim Tim, all grown up. He's going to feel, you know, cooler, more villainous, and it's going to really tie things together hearing, you know, what he has to say. We've also done a fair bit of environmental storytelling, so there's going to be evidence of what he's been doing around the island that you can discover. That's cool. That's very cool. We've added a lot of unique new points of interest that weren't there before. So these excavation sites, you can see that they've been digging and working on starting new bunkers. Work's been interrupted in a terrible way. You can get down into these little caves that they've dug out and you can find new items 
or just loot that's going to help you get around and survive on the island. There's going to be dying tacticals that you can discover as you're going around the map, and they're going to have flares that... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I haven't fixed my stingers inside OBS, so apologies for, for this. This was on the fly. I just want to get this out there, so... Tacticals? Am I just not hip to the lingo? Is that what's going on? What the f What is a tactical? Are we tacticals? Because I mean, we were in the helicopter too. Are are we a tactical? I hope that's just not me understanding something or not hearing something. I can be oblivious and like totally miss things sometimes and not hear stuff right. What the f is a tactical just goofy apologies again for the stingers back to the video that can help lead you to points of interest a lot of new unique stuff that wasn't there before and it's really starting to help the map feel filled out and, and more alive and dense we have yes. smoke plumes that are going to be coming from the cannibal camp oh, so if there's cannibals there mm. and they have their fire going you'll see that plume from a distance you're going to get a sense of all the life on on the island and if you want to and you wipe out those camps there's nobody there and the fire has gone out you won't find that plume anymore Not sure how I feel about that. Another thing I we don't improved know. in the world was the hell caves. Spent some time working on the look of the lava, the effects in the hell cave, and making it a lot more realistic. So that experience going through, especially with Timmy as an NPC now going through that with you, it's going to be an awesome final cave in the game. Oh, there's a couple showcasing mutants it. that we're really excited about that we've added for the final. One is called Leg Z. It doesn't use its legs to walk around, so it's got a creepy way of getting around. You'll see its legs flapping behind a bush, and it can jump through the air to launch itself at you. It's a pretty tough new It'll mutant, clap its so he will at you. sort of imitate stalagmites and stalactites in caves. So you'll be walking around, and you might think this is a stalagmite next to you, and then suddenly this mutant's attacking you, so that's going to be pretty terrifying we hope look at this guy holy a lot of people really liked cowman from the first game so holy is yep. kind of a reintroduction yep. of cowman in a way it's a new design but it's a big heavy slow mutant still very dangerous it can do a charge attack like cowman and it can launch itself at you <laughs> Oh, that's, We've that's great. added a late tier armor that's going to be a lot more tough to get off of enemies. We've put armor on the heavy cannibals now, so they're going to be a lot more difficult. And we've also done a lot of work in balancing the toughness of the armor versus your weapons. So you're really going to have to be strategic in like targeting the different body parts when you're fighting these guys now. So it's going to up the we challenge level. It'll be a lot more rewarding taking out cannibals. <laughs> raccoons we introduced because we just thought they were going to be really cute. You know, we've got them climbing trees. You get close and they're going to get up on their back legs and taunt you in classic Sons of the Forest fashion. You can you can kill them, take their heads off and put them on, on sticks if you want to, but uh, they really, I think, add more life to the map. You can eat that raccoon meat and you can put it on your fire. <laughs> You want to launch your what own Minecraft the server for you and your fuck? friends at shotbike.com for his. We've also added a new buildable structure if you find the blueprint for that, which is this launcher for the glider. So you can set it up at your base and you can go from wherever you want and continue exploring with the glider. Don't care. Right now, I don't Some care. of the other stuff we've done is improving the experience with the golf cart by adding the GPS yes. to it. When you're in there, you yes. can see the map and you can see points of interest as you're driving yes. around. There's also the radio. Good job in night on that. Yes. Added to it. So you can have some tunes. You can listen to your favorite bad pivot tracks while you're cruising around in the golf cart. Yeah. 
also Ooh. added more paths and, and better interconnected paths. So as you're driving around in the golf cart, you're able to get, you know, everywhere you want to go. Yeah, because you know your night five is too twitchy. We introduced proximity chat. This is a really immersive feature. It's a lot of fun sitting around the fire with your friends and chatting. What do you think, Evan? I think we should try it out in the cave. It's crazy how much that little feature improves the experience and like the sense of immersion. As you can hear, we've got some nice reverb in the cave. All right. You can hear. That's cool. Different from sound. A lot of people, a lot of people are pausing time. this for a second. Um, <clears throat> obviously, I didn't make it this far. I'm going to full. So sorry. Uh, Let's talk about VoIP. VoIP? I've always used the word VoIP. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You can call me out for it. Uh, voice interaction between players inside of games, whatever that system is. I always thought it was VoIP, but maybe those letters are wrong. And it's V-I-O-P? Voice integrated operating something? Because then it's like VIOP? I don't know. I've always said fucking VoIP and all my friends and family know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> maybe they're thinking, why is he calling it that? Anyway, those things are awesome inside of games. I think that's great. That's good if you are planning to have it on consoles. Because most of those things, at least to my knowledge, don't... Like, you can't, like, jump on Discord. I'm a PC player, so... Um, I don't know so much about consoles. I'm not against them or anything. I just don't play them a lot. Uh, so that'll be good for those individuals. I think that'll be great. But I think this new feature is just going to be completely lost to PC players. I don't think that they're going to get to, I mean, you could experience it like guys, let's turn, let's turn off discord to only do this in game. The couple times that I played with um, our little gaming group, uh, whenever the walkie-talkie comes on, it's like screaming and double echo. And of course, it's going to do that because we're on Discord. But um, maybe that's why I'm a little biased against this kind of stuff. Because it's probably going to screw up keybinds. And then that's a pain in the ass. But hopefully not. I, I don't know. I don't know, but I think a lot of players are going to miss out on on this, at least on the PC, and uh, they'll they'll never, not that they'll never see it, but most likely they're not going to be using that. You know, we're all on like Discord and shit. And also, in a clutch moment, the last thing that I want is something that I can only hear by proximity. If I'm a little ways down the cave and my teammate can't hear me, that you know, oh, we've got a legsy in this room that I didn't realize I need help. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm being too critical right now. Facing away. We have these moments where, you know, we're making a campfire and everybody has this coming into a circle and sitting around and we're talking to each other. If you walk away, you're not going to hear the conversation. So it just, it changes the whole dynamic, you know, and as you're going through the world too, you kind of want to stay as a group so you can hear each other talking. If you have a cannibal walking by, everyone, you got to be quiet. You're going to have to whisper so that cannibal doesn't hear you in the bush. So you're going to hear that echo if you're in a cave, if you're underwater, it's going to be muffled because you've got the mask on. So there are those audio changes. Okay, all right, so here would be something cool. Th this would be neat. Oh, you, you, you can see me just fine up there. There's no reason for me to keep switching back and forth. I am so sorry. Just woke up. Uh, what would be cool is if the game, and there's plenty of horror survival games, just horror games with all the jump scares inside of them, there's plenty that exist. I think plenty, or at least I know of one that is based off of your sound. If you're too loud, if you make a noise, I saw this. I don't know the name of it, but uh, the game reacts to you making noise through your mic. It would be cool if the forest would kind of plug that in a little bit. So 
if you're being loud and you guys are all talking or whatever, it could, I don't know how they would do it, but it could like trigger attack somehow, or the game would react to you guys laughing and passing gas. Like it would, the game would hear it. That would be cool. You can really hear the difference on the water. You can barely hear the other players. That's neat. It's neat. Won't do anything for us. And you can eat berries faster. Yeah. <laughs> Just emphasize how excited we are about being able to eat berries faster now. <laughs> all, all right. All right. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's talk about this. I don't care how fast you can eat the berries inside the game. Unless you are hard up inside of Sons of the Forest, unless you are pressed, starved, can't find food at the start of the game with all kinds of energy drinks, energy bars, MRE spread everywhere, why in the shit am I going to eat a blueberry with the amount that they give you, with the amount that they give you? Uh, of, of food and, and and water. Do they even give water? I don't even remember because I don't eat the damn things. And it's not because it takes too long. That's just an additive suck to it. They're just pointless. To me, maybe I'm missing something again. You know, like we played this game, took a long break. We're just now coming back to it. You know, we've dove pretty deep into it. We're excited about 1.0. So, so maybe I've missed something between now and the start. They, they had far more benefit, I think, in the forest than they do now. So I don't give a shit that I can eat 10 in a row. Oh, I'm going to eat 10 in a row. And with the bacon bites and the brain bites and the steak bites or whatever, they're just annoying. They're just annoying. Last night, Gamma and I were playing and I was like, oh, I'm going to try to pound through some of these. It made barely a dent inside of my food, uh, whatever the hell that is. It barely made a dent. It didn't do anything at all. And I ate like 10 of them or like 15 of them or something. I don't know, man. It was a high number. But I just, it just doesn't make enough of an impact. If it did just a hair more, maybe I might care, but I don't care. Like, I mean, I, mean, I don't know. What, what do you guys think? I, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make enough of an impact for me to give a shit. <laughs> I think that's going to be a fun one. Eating those berries and uh, one at a time, it was tedious. And so I think we're happy and I think players will be happy to, to be able to eat berries faster now. We put so much stuff into this final release. There's a lot of stuff that we haven't I just talked about here. So many exciting new features and gameplay balance. And the, the whole world is just feeling alive now. It's going to be, I think, a completely different experience from what people would have had at early access. For more. Um, it appears they're going to say some. Well, here, we'll, we'll let this play out. Sorry. More videos on Sons of the Forest. Make sure to watch the one. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of that. Let me, uh... All right. So, um... A fair bit. That's, uh... That's cool and all. I, I do want to talk about one thing. I'll talk about one thing right here. We're going to try to get this. Let me find this spot real fast, and then I'll bring it back up again so annoying all right there we go all right so let's talk about these smoke plumes real fast <clears throat> i hope this is integrated well because if they are not first of all how how often inside the game how often be realistic with yourself if you're going to answer this question how often are you at a vantage point where you can look down and see the landscape and i know everybody's play style is different and maybe that's why i'm commenting specifically on this but there's not that often i I think I may know exactly where they're at right now. Maybe. 
No, maybe not. Maybe not. Despite that, that doesn't matter. How often are you up high to where you can look out and see that vista? Or you're up really high and you could see all that. That's not going to happen very often. Yes, it's going to make the island look more alive. Okay, but that's not even really what I was wanting to attack. Whether this is even an attack. They said once you clear that out, you won't see smoke at those camps anymore. That's going to be an interesting thing about how that plays out. Because having those smoke plumes at camps means that you're going to be able to see where those camps are at. It's going to be more helpful. And yes, you can mark the map in different ways and whatever, and, th and that's fine too. I don't know if I... I don't know how I feel about that. And I don't know why I'm hung up on it either. But... Uh, I'm far more interested in this these tacticals, tactical people tactical people that are um in the map i want to see what that does uh i'm excited either way it's going to be cool um hope you enjoyed watching it i know i did i'm i'm, I'm ready for thursday thursday tomorrow yeah for all this to come together man it's going to be really cool um we're going to try to be up and streaming late evening uh, but I can't make any promises. There's some other things going on right now. And um, I don't know how that night's going to go. Anyway. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, talk to you all later. Bye-bye.